In general society, we are uncomfortable talking about things like periods um, and menstrual cycle symptoms and boobs. Um, and so it's no wonder that when you walk into the sporting environment that this um, discomfort in talking about these issues carries on. Um, but we know how important female specific factors are when we are trying to understand a female athlete's uh, training, her health and her ability to perform optimally. So we have to open up the conversation um, to talk about these things, to make it comfortable and um, important when we're unpicking a female athlete's health, well-being and performance. And that's why we developed the Smart Her campaign. We want to be smarter about how we support our female athletes. And we're doing so by doing more research in the area of the female athlete and connecting more strongly with expert researchers in this field. We're providing learning opportunities for the athletes and their support teams to improve their understanding of things like the menstrual cycle and how that can affect training and performance, how we can optimise breast support during sport and how we can create environments in which female athletes can really thrive. We hope that by doing all of these things we can really open up the conversation between athletes and their support teams so they feel more comfortable talking about all of these things which we know will improve the health, happiness and performance of our female athletes. It feels like science and medicine has, has let females down, has let female athletes down in particular um, because of uh, because historically um, academics have shied away from, um, from doing any research uh, that involves females and specifically taking into account the menstrual cycle. Um, so because, um, because female research is difficult, um, people don't do it. Because people don't do it, we don't know as much as we should know. Um, and so at some point, you know, someone needs to say, yeah, th this is going to be really difficult, um, but we're going to do it anyway, um, because it's a really worthwhile and necessary thing for us to be doing. So over the last few months, we've been delivering workshops for coaches and performance support teams to allow them to uh, further their understanding of some of the fundamentals of the female athletes. So things like the menstrual cycle and how that can affect performance how the fluctuating hormones can influence different things in their athletes like coordination, muscle performance or injury risk and how taking hormonal contraception can influence a number of factors. We're taking those workshops now out to athletes. We think it's really important to allow the athletes um, to not only have access to that learning but also to have a space where they can talk about their own experiences as athletes in a group with each other. We hope after these workshops that athletes, coaches and support teams will go back into their sports and have really impactful conversations um, that will further improve female athlete health and performance. There is a short term goal and that's to hopefully win more medals in Tokyo. But there's a long term goal which is, which is yeah, that'd be great to develop it in elite sport but there's, there's more of a kind of societal aspiration about improving opportunities and improving pathways and improving visibility. You can try and research and you can try and apply um, the, the insights that you gain from doing the research but it actually starts by people being willing to talk about it. Okay, so athletes have to feel comfortable and willing to talk about menstrual cycles and periods and some of the issues that they might be having um, and equally Coaches have to be comfortable sometimes asking those questions, but, but more importantly, hearing it and, and listening to the athletes when they, when they do start talking. My advice to athletes, to coaches and to practitioners is to really work on creating a safe and comfortable space to start talking about anything and everything that is important in the pursuit of female athlete health and performance. And that will include things like menstrual cycle, like breast health, like pelvic floor health, like increased injury risk because of the hormonal fluctuations of the menstrual cycle, like the differing communication styles or motivation techniques you need to use with female athletes. 
I would encourage athletes, coaches and practitioners to be comfortable talking about these sort of things as they are an integral part of the jigsaw of support that we need to put around an athlete in order for her to pursue world-class performance.